Hi guys, welcome or welcome back. Today I'll be checking out Moon Knight episode 3. Um, we ended last episode with Mark in control and uh, yeah, I think they were in Egypt. At least that's my suspicion. So yeah, let's go right into the next episode. Just avoid your old haunts. Call me sentimental, but I worry about you. I'm going to be learning more about her as well. Not good. <laughs> You're never gonna find her. Really? Oh wow. Oh. What are we dancing? We fight more we can do. <laughs> Going for the slap. Where's <laughs> Shakahawaga? Why would you do that for? <laughs> Don't do it, Mark. Stop me. Stop. Ooh. Let me talk to you. Just let us go, man. That wasn't me. <laughs> let me talk to you first. Mark. Mark. That's enough. Ouch. Well, it wasn't me. Then who was it? What? Where's Harold? Oh my god. Where's Harold? Praise Amit. Okay. Oh, fuck. Jesus. So? What about the other gods? Are they just gonna stand by and allow somebody to unleash Amit? Anger them enough, and they'll imprison me in stone. Oh, doesn't sound so bad to me. See how you fare. What are you doing? Oh, okay. Sending the gods a signal they can't ignore. Yes, but for a meeting of the Ennead, a portal presents itself anywhere. Where's mine? Guess there. That's not terrifying at all. I'm going to talk to, to the gods. Well, I am excited to see how they look. Five days we're inside. We're inside the Great Pyramid of Giza. <laughs> oh, I love him. He's just nodding on. Oh my god. I would nerd out as well. Damn. I'm Jatsil, avatar of Hathor. Okay. Goddess of music and love. Cool. Surely Konshu mentioned her. I don't think so. The other gods aren't really his favorite topic. We'll get used to it. Great. Oh, are they possessing that? In attendance, Horus, Isis, Tefnut, Osiris, and Hathor. We're not abandoning humanity unlike the rest of you. We have not abandoned humanity. They abandoned us. We simply trust our avatars to carry out our purposes without calling undue attention to ourselves. The avatars that remain here are simply meant to observe. We decided long ago we did not wish to meddle in the affairs of man. Oh, is he gonna talk his way out of it? Khonshu has searched for Amit's tomb since he ensnared me to his service. His vision is obscured by jealousy, paranoia, and he is a deceiver! And his servant, unwell. How do you mean? Oh. This is a man who literally does not know his own name. <clears throat> he has a marriage certificate under the name Mark Speck. Liar! Employment records under the name Stop. Stephen Grant. <sighs> I've seen him speak to himself. Shut up! Concho is taking advantage of him. The I mean, that is true. He me. The way he aspires 
to abuse this court. Are you unwell? I am. I am unwell. But that doesn't change the fact that this, this man is... This is about how dangerous he is, if you would just listen for a second. He has committed no offense. <sighs> Can she help out, maybe? One man, a Magi named Senfu. He was tasked with recording the location of the tomb in case the gods ever changed their minds and decided to show mercy. I hope you like attention. Hey, there she is. Right guy, right place, but you're not Egyptian. I could have told me, you know, what it's been like for you. About Stephen. For what it's worth, I had it under control until very recently. He's looking forward to seeing you. After Madripoor, I'm sure you two will have a lot to talk about. After Madripoor? Excuse me for a moment. Miss Lamoga will be with you shortly. I think that... I think I just would love to take a look. Funny man. There's, just, there's no location indicated. Because the information has to be unlocked. It's yeah, coming. it's definitely more helpful in the situation. Okay, um, It's praying. Sorry, if you expect my help, it's not going to be while I'm imprisoned. Do you want a bloodbath? Huh? Fine, have it your way. All right. You are the worst. Wait a second. Now, if you match those stars up with the other piece over there and put it all together, it should make a star change. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> it appears we have a concerned third party here. Yeah? Get up. Oh, the Victor. Of course. I told you, I'm sure I can offer you something much more tangible. <sighs> Leila, you keep thinking that distance will prevent the wounds from your father's murder from reopening. Mark, you don't tell her because you know that if you do, Did you she'll see you exactly as you see yourself, as unworthy of love. He's gone. Where is he? Oh, man, I just love that suit. Back so nice. Oh, cool! I can just throw them back. Stop it! Stop it! Oh, Stephen, not now! Give me the body, Mark! Oh. Sorry. You all right? It's like, chill the F out and talk for a second. Yeah, I don't think I want to talk. Take the body, take the body, Mark. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Come on, Anton. I'm trying to mess with you, you know, he's trying to get in your mind. Oh, you gotta make it worse. We need Steven. Gotta learn to trust each other and work together. I really think it's worth giving him a shot. Cheers, thanks a lot. All right. I love when you see the change in his face and the accent, obviously. Then you see the duct tape is just <laughs> so funny to me. So, they came up with a way to get about using the sun and the stars. It's bloody genius, isn't it? God, this map is so weird for her. You see those little pinpricks there? That's a constellation. We should be able to triangulate the stars into coordinates. Right? And stars really? drift over time. Not much as far as stars go, but it, it can mean the difference between us searching miles and miles away from where we're supposed to be looking. Oh. Stephen. It looks beautiful. When the gods imprison me, tell Mark to free me. 
Wow, he's actually sacrificing his freedom. Oh my god, that's so trippy. <laughs> Are they giving him the statue of no choice? <sighs> I enjoyed dealing out pain on your behalf. That is the greatest sin I carry to what you could not. When when it's finished, I want you to remember one thing. I owe my victory to you. Alright, another episode down. Ugh, this... I mean, we found Amit's tomb, so that's that's good, but we lost Konshu and the Sook, which... Ugh, not good. I still, I don't, I don't know what I'm, what I'm, I don't know how I feel about Konshu yet. Um, he's very entitled. He's not really the caring type of person who's like, who cares for his avatar it seems. And uh, at the same time, I believe him when he's like, Talking about the mission and Ahmed being bad and uh, the little court case obviously didn't go to plan. Um, and he even said like our case has to be solid. And I mean, there was no <laughs> preparation and. Uh, then Victor came. And I like that Steven and uh, Mark are learning to work together and maybe we trust each other a little bit. Obviously Steven um, interrupting his fights isn't um, helpful to Mark at all and um, should definitely be. But before I forget that, it seems we have another personality because well, in the more towards the beginning when Mark was beating up these guys, um, then he lost memory and he woke up again, having killed two guys. And Stephen was like, "I didn't do that," so there is someone else, um, and that's gonna be interesting. Mm. We have more background information on Layla. Also, it seems Mark may have killed her father. And him denying knowing anything about that and saying it's all like pretty much bullshit. <sighs> the truth is always gonna come out, so when that happens, that's not gonna go well. Also, I feel like Layla and Steven a forming a connection. That's gonna be interesting as well. I wish I could binge this like I do the other shows. It's just I'm not used to waiting a week anymore for the next episode. <laughs> oh my lord. Yeah. Alright, I think this is first episode. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.